Wait a minute, how'd we get here? Let's roll it back a little bit. So starting off, we'll use this wire brush attachment to get the majority of the rust off the disc. This thing was caked in rust, so I wanted to use this real aggressive form first to get off the majority of it before we went to a more fine disc to get a nicer finish. So once the majority of the rust was gone, we went to this hand grinder with a more solid disc on it to really get down into the disc and give it a nicer fine finish, smooth it off. I wanted to smooth off the edges so they weren't sharp and just really finish it out nicely. So here's a close up of that, just shows you how good it took off that rust from the inside. So after multiple times over with that grinder, this is what we're left with. It's a real smooth surface. For the handles, my dad had a couple big U-bolts laying around, so we just cut those down to the right size, and then we welded them onto the side. For the middle to be filled, we used uh, some leftover scrap metal my dad had. He just cut out a chunk to fit into the middle of the disc, and then we welded it in to fill the holes. So we started off by heat treating the whole disc with a propane torch. We wanted everything to be the same temperature when we started welding on it, and that included the filler piece in the middle. So this was my first time welding, but after my dad gave me a few pointers and showed me how it was done, it was pretty simple. Got the middle piece filled in, and then we moved on to grinding it. So my dad was worried it might crack at this point when we start grinding on it, but I wasn't worried at all. He's awesome what he does and he knew what he was doing. So he got it all grinded out and it looked good and clean. So all that was left was to attach both the handles. My dad tacked this one down to show me how it was done and then I welded it on and then we moved on to the other side. So just like we started with the heat treatment, we're going to end with the heat treatment. We want everything to be the same temperature and have it all cool off at the same speed so nothing cracks and it all sets up nicely. One thing I didn't show during this process was the countless times I seasoned it in my oven. I put my oven up to 400 degrees, I lathered it down with oil, and then I cooked it in the oven for about 30 minutes and I'd turn off the oven and leave it in the oven to cool off. I probably did this six or seven times. That's what left it with this nice glossy finish that you see all over the campfire. But I think we're gonna have to leave this actual cook to the next video. So thank you so much for watching guys and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see when the cooking video actually comes out and be on the lookout for that thousand subscriber giveaway. Thanks everyone.
Yeah.